It's time, Astros fans. It is time to gauge the Jose Abreu conversation. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The League. Your host, as always, Harley Dugan. It is time for this channel. We're going to get into some Houston Astros real quick. It is time for me, this channel, to look into Jose Abreu. It is going on almost two months now, and he is still regressing, it feels like. It's still bad performance after bad performance. I don't understand why he's batting fourth in the lineup with Jose Altuve back. Don't like that idea. Rather him be at the fifth spot. I like Kyle Tucker behind Jordan Alvarez, but that's the, that's where I digress. We're talking about Jose Abreu, and not a lot of fans want to talk about him. I get him confused with Martin Maldonado and the performances that they both put together. Though Maldi has had some string of good at-bats lately, I do appreciate it. Jose Abreu was the big splash free agency signing that Jeff Bagwell and the Houston Astros made this offseason. Three-year, $58 million, if I believe, uh, if I'm correct, and right now he's had the lowest career slugging percentage, the lowest on-base percentage in his career. He's batting 218 last I checked. That could be lower by now. Who knows? Uh, still no home runs on the board for Jose Abreu, who I just, I thought was going to be a Crawford Box merchant when he came to the Astros. I saw him in spring training, and I didn't see anything like this. Now, maybe it could be an overreaction. Nick Castellanos got signed by the Philadelphia Phillies last year, and he hit 34 home runs two years prior with the Cincinnati Reds and then came to the Phillies and only hit 13 home runs. So maybe, maybe it's some, you know, early early season jitters for Jose Abreu, but I'm not going to lay it down like that. I'm not going to lay it down that easy for Jose Abreu. He needs to perform better. The Houston Astros have to continue to play Jose Abreu. No, he does not need to get benched. You can't bench him. You can't. You paid him this much money, you can't bench him. I understand that you got some Mauricio Dubon lovers that want him at first base. That's not going to happen. Too small, too skinny to be playing first base. I understand he was taking some fielding there. I can't see it. Yiner Diaz, yeah, he could play first base. Do I want him every day? I don't mind him as a spotter every once in a while. Spots some few games away from Jose Abreu. But at the end of the day, Abreu's performance has to get better. And if it doesn't, then the Houston Astros are definitely going to have to look into the market at first base. And they're going to have to cut ties with him. And I don't know if that happens this All-Star break. But if the performance continues to happen and there's no improvements whatsoever... The Astros got to do something at the first base position, a position where it is usually led in home runs and RBIs for teams. And we're looking at Yuli Goriel over in Miami doing his thing, and Jose Abreu, not so much. As always, guys, go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans. You have a blessed day.